Oh, well, hello guys, welcome back to another graphic arc video. And today uh, we got some news for you. I mean, I got some news for you. Uh, recently, you know, today is 22nd, but yesterday, 21st, we got a new stable driver from Intel, which is now a 0.4502. And uh, actually not much has changed. As you can see here, let me just quickly show you the release notes. So if you are on what, 4.44, 09 or what's the what was the previous beta on i don't know you update and let me know because see here uh, the fixed issues are only itunes may experience application crash during launch which i mean do you use itunes i don't i have spotify for music but okay each to his own and uh, what's this a blank screen or error may be observed in server application when embedding content using to view too huh. never i'm not sure if i experienced this but uh yeah no issues System may hang while waking up from sleep, may need to power cycle the system for recovery. Oh, this is still an issue, right? I do have uh, sleep off, so uh, I never actually experienced this, but damn, Intel, I heard it's been a while since this issue has been going on, and uh, hmm, what you gonna do? Please uh, test a bit more and uh, fix this issue, because I think many people have sleep option. Because, you know, you, you have to quickly go somewhere and uh, the sleep option helps save some power instead of the GPU running constantly at 50 watts idle. I mean 40, okay, 50, 40, it's there, there. It's a lot high, so either fix power saving features or uh, maybe fix this so people can put their PCs to sleep and normally power on once they go back. But uh, yeah. Notebook Billinger, it's already sending me some special sales, uh, but they are out of Intel Arc A770 16GB. God damn, it's been for like two weeks now, but uh, yeah. Here we have GPU hardware acceleration may not be available for media playing and code with some versions of Adobe Premiere Pro. Ah, this is what I actually experienced. Sometimes it either crashed or uh, it just didn't play properly, so I had to restart the computer and uh, for some reason then it worked. So, but uh, the newest one, 2023, works okay. Topaz Video AI, I don't know. Um, I never used this, but I heard it's a really good uh, software to actually upscale your uh, videos. But uh, yeah, anyone used Topaz Video AI? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, some users may experience a crash in uh, Formula 1 23 when changing the XCSS presets. You know, I actually got a 5 hour free, I think, gameplay for, from Xbox Game Pass. I'm not totally sure, so we can actually do a test in the next video how XSS works in Formula 1. But uh, yeah, streaming Dota 2 using XSplit Broadcaster. Who uses this? Do you use this? I mean, I saw it's a good software. I also offer it along the video card purchase, but um, yeah, okay, okay. Let's see what processor products have problem. Call of Duty Warzone 2, it still has certain light sources, flashing, exhibit color collapsion. You know, I think this is mostly related to XCSS, since it also happens in Modern Warfare 2. But uh, yeah, I'm seeing guys not much have changed. There are also some issues using our control center, like camera on screen preview, Arc Studio Capture, which sometimes against many incorrect to generate multiple. What? You know, I haven't used this in a while, but I saw there is now 4K60, so maybe next time I will use uh, Intel Arc to record with uh, Arc Control Center. Huh? Yeah, let's do that maybe in the next video as well. But these notes, take your system lighting to next. <laughs> it's been like this, I think, for the past, I don't know how many change logs. We get it, Intel. You have a software to modify RGB. Okay, okay. What is this? Interact is currently in beta. Ah, okay, this is still written there. But uh, yeah, they are constantly changing some UI elements in the driver, so that's that. But you know what? Intel finally decided, look at this, guys, that uh, A770 graphic cards are officially toast, says the PC gamer. I mean, it was a limited edition with a reason. Uh, if you ask me, it took Intel some time actually to... You know, stop making these cards. I thought this would be, you know, going for like two, three months and then they will let AIBs to do the uh, graphic cards. So, uh, yeah, in Europe now you can probably still get some A770 16 gigabyte limited edition in some shops, but uh, expect them to be sold out pretty soon, I think. I have one retailer that uh, doesn't have them anymore, so... We'll see about that, but uh, yeah, I got uh, guys finally 
and shadow bent in modern warfare 2 today in the morning you know here i was trying to uh, record some gameplay to talk about it over and as you can see now i have really low ping no more 200 ms lobbies so yeah that's good i just leave some gameplay running in the background and uh, you know let's talk about uh, more of intel arg graphic cards because uh, yeah uh, Intel finally, like as we saw, discontinued A770 16 gigabytes, which uh, now we only have Acer one to be available to purchase, and uh, okay, Azeroth has one, but it's the 8 gigabyte variant, so uh, yeah, we need more 16 gigabyte uh, graphic cards of A770 on the market as soon as possible, because uh, Battle Mage, we don't know when it will be, but we suspect, I mean, I suspect about uh, one year from this date today, we will have more news. So maybe actually the GPU already being released out to the public, the new Battle Mage, or, if, or how it's going to be called, Battle Mage. They say it will be Battle Mage, so we will see if it will do some magic to our... Uh, systems and to, uh, do a good performance output in the newest games that come out look at this guy <laughs> he ran past me i'm not sure what he was doing there but i was literally standing right in front of the door and he did not see me so yeah there's that i mean what do you think guys is it a, a good is, is was it a good idea that intel finally pulled the plug on uh, the limited edition a770 let me know down in the comments below but uh, yeah i mean it's uh, it was actually called limited edition for a reason right right so that's actually good that they stopped producing them because i'm sure they still have a lot of them in the open sea out there but uh, you know many people lately are getting into large graphic cards also here i get some uh, people interested in buying them and uh, oh yeah today i'm also be getting uh, one a770 16 gigabyte limited edition just on this perfect date when they discontinued the limited edition graphic cards i will get one more apparently the customer i mean customer someone had a problem with uh, intel arc uh, blue screening and uh, even black screening his whole system and uh, when he was he's constantly streaming some games you know fortnite and stuff to lots of audience and it was pretty annoying for him to actually have no screen for some time or even the whole computer freeze and you know stream restarting so uh, yeah he will now switch to uh, nvidia back but uh, i will probably get the card for 200 euro which is uh, perfect perfect i sure hope it works ah maybe we will do some testing today and i will upload a video tomorrow to show you my finding on what's going on but uh, yeah guys that's it for this video Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe for my uh, tomorrow video when I will be testing out this uh, 200 euro A770 16 gigabyte graphic card and uh, I will have some more news regarding uh, the performance on Intel and AMD systems because now I will have two graphic cards will be easier for me to compare live and just you know put camera there record and to be on this bench also record so uh, yeah it will be a big help that i will now have two a770s in my hands to compare between amd and intel system oh let's go guys see you tomorrow in the next video and uh, have a good day today bye bye